The Legend of the Pig Once upon a time there was a family of farmers who lived very kindly. The couple plowed hard, saved money to help the poor. They have created healthy buffaloes, good fields, built five ironwood houses, areca gardens, and fish ponds. Life seemed so peaceful. But ironically, the couple did not have any children. The couple is sad. The neighbors scoffed. Every time that happens, the couple goes to the doctor to find medicine that costs a lot of money. One day someone told me, grandparents who have children must pray. It means having to do something to leave merit for the gods and for people. Since then, the couple has been tossing and turning every night looking for meritorious deeds. The husband asked how much capital he had left to build a temple. The wife agreed and the next day went to the river to buy wood. Three months later, a majestic temple arose in the middle of Doai village. The gods, wealth, wisdom, health, entertainment have gathered. Whoever wishes will receive it. Read grim fairy tales for children. The grandparents wished to have a child, and God was so merciful that they gave them a beautiful and healthy son. Unfortunately, the farmer and his wife loved their child so much that they became guilty. The boy named Hoi has the opposite personality of the person who gave birth to him. He likes to sleep and play, and he takes a lot of time to get to school, but as soon as he sits down on the chair he falls asleep, so three years later he still hasn't been able to write Hoi's name. Later, Hoi dropped out of school and hung out in the village, on the beach, and along the river. Even worse, when the pig has a wife, he kicks his parents out to live separately. Despite this, the grandparents still devoted themselves to pampering and loving their children. On the day the mother was dying, she asked her husband to call HOI, held her hand and said intermittently under her breath, Mom and Dad, I really regret not taking care of you more. Now that I'm about to die, I want to ask you what your wishes are so that when you go down to the golden stream, you'll know and pray for your blessings. The son immediately said, I wish to not work all my life but be able to eat well and sleep without anyone disturbing me. In short, people serve you. After burying his wife, the husband went to the temple to pray for that wish for his child. The gods consulted with each other and found it awkward. Actually, if you ask for wealth, a clear mind, extraordinary health, or wanton entertainment, it's easy. Now it just dreams of eating well and sleeping well. It's a little difficult to get people to serve you. This clause is beyond the authority of the gods in the temple. They discussed with each other and reported to the Jade Emperor. After listening, the Jade Emperor turned around and said to the God of Wisdom, How sad for humans. I gave birth to them to beautify the world. Yet now there are people who only want to eat and sleep, and also want others to serve them. Bad. That's bad. The God of Wisdom bowed his head and said, Dear God, Hoy's parents are virtuous people. They themselves had the merit of worshipping the gods. If we don't help them, we will lose trust. The Jade Emperor saw that the God of Wisdom was right. But that's so absurd. Who lives in the same human race and forces one person to serve another? Suddenly Nak Hoang shouted, I have thought of it. God come here I say. The God of Wisdom, his face as bright as a flower, came and knelt at the feet of the Jade Emperor, pig name, eat well, sleep peacefully, have someone to serve you, right? I will give you the life of a pig. 
That life was like that, but its life was short and the servants killed it with their own hands. Read the best fairy tales. The god of wisdom was about to tell the farmer a few more things when the jade emperor shook off his robe and walked out. The god sadly flew back to Doai village and learned that the old farmer and his son named Hoi had passed away half a year ago. The strange thing is that in Doai village, a small mountain with fire rose up, flickering with the words, O Si Thuong Tho. Dot. In Doai village, every house has nests of ammonites growing on the roof, and every house raises a strange breed of animal, long snout, big ears, four small legs, and a lean, meaty body. It doesn't know how to cry, it only knows how to squeak. That breed is voracious. After eating, sleep. Feeling a little overwhelmed, he asked for food, making it difficult for the villagers to carry and cook. Because of the desire to raise it quickly so it can be slaughtered quickly, people named it lawn. This word has been misread as pig for a long time. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.